guys we're back in the booth tonight i wanted to thank our sponsor of the video lurebuild.com jimmy has excellent blanks eyes stencils from insane custom stencils he has his own brand uh, so go check him out lurebuild.com for all your painting and lure supply needs so let's get to it all right we are back in the booth tonight and we're going to play with a new bait. It's a actually a foam crank bait. It's a wake bait. And I'm just going to play around with it tonight and see what I can come up with. Um, the first color I'm going to use, I've, I've already put a base on this of um, Audubon Sealer white. And then I put in some golden titanium white. It's kind of a different texture on this bait. It's, um, like I said, it's foam, so. It's got a, it's got a kind of, kind of a weird texture, but I'm gonna start out with, um, a sparkalescent, um, mango too. It's kind of a orangey, shiny type color. And I'm gonna put that on the top. Put a little bit in the gun and we'll just build this up. It is really a weird textured bait. I'm sure it'll be fine once I put the, uh, the clear coat over it, but gonna have to be built up on this. I'm gonna put some around the eyes here. Really not orange, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I'm, I'm colorblind, so it's kind of a pale yellow orange, I guess you would call it. Building it up, it looks a lot better. my airbrush out. Hang on just a second. All right, I'm back. Um, I actually used that Sparkalescent um, Mango, and on this foam lure, I really didn't like the look I got. It kind of gave it a crackle look. It's just not dark enough, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a layer of um, uh, orange ink over that. I want it to be a little brighter than that. And I want to see how this is going to do on this um, foam bait. So this is the first one I've ever painted, so I don't know how it's going to react. So we'll get to see it together. Okay, so let's just build it up. looking a lot better. If you've never used the inks before, they're very easy to spray. They're airbrush friendly. Really airbrush friendly. I'm going to let it bleed down the side just a little bit. I got a reptile stencil I think I'm going to play with on this bait just for fun. Um, haven't done one in a while. Try to get away from get away from doing. I do a lot of crawls, a lot of bluegill. Just try to have some fun and do something just a little bit different.
I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this really quick. Grab the bill off my desk over here. Make sure it's dry. These foam baits, it really shines. It actually has a little bill in it. I'll put that on at the end. It's kind of a, it's kind of a wake bait. It's kind of cool looking. Kind of a neat looking bait. So the next paint I'm gonna use over top of it is a, um, a burnt sienna. I was gonna put black, um, but I think I'm gonna put a layer of this over it. I still may use the black. And I'm gonna use the ribbon. I haven't used that in a while. We're gonna kind of just play a little bit. I came back in here tonight and didn't have anything I could I'm just having a terrible time coming up with some creative ideas for some reason. I got it on low pressure. We're gonna, I'm gonna take this cloth and I'm gonna wrap it. I'm pretty sure it's dry. So we'll lock this down. And I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna go over I'm just gonna go down the middle of the top of this bait. It's pretty wide. It's a pretty wide bait, kind of cool looking. And I don't ever clamp them much. I don't do a lot of this ribbon stuff. I use it sometimes. I don't think that's gonna be dark enough. Let me clean that out and go with the black. I'm gonna have to change that. I don't think it's gonna be dark enough. Don't think that's it. And for you, those of you who haven't watched my videos before, I don't, I don't edit, so you're gonna get it just like I do it. So if I goof, it is what it is. You're gonna get it just like I, like I do it. Because really that's what's happening anyway with most people who are painting. There's very few nights I come in here that I ain't goofing something up. That I'm not goofing something up. So we got some black golden in the gun. And I'll cut that down just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is hit the top. I'm going to redo this and grab it up. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that color into it, into that orange. And you don't want to, you don't want to soak this. I mean, I'm going to go down the middle and then I'm just going to lightly work it out. It's not too wet. A lot of times if you put this on wet, when you take this thing off, it's gonna mess it up, but that's just about perfect. You don't want it on there. That's why you don't wanna blast it. You don't wanna put um, a ton of paint on it. You don't need to, to get the effect that you're gonna, that you're looking for. You don't, you don't need to do that. Um, the stencil I'm gonna use is, is from Whitmore Farms. It's a reptile stencil. And I'm just gonna play with this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on here. And another tip, like I've always said, if you keep your if you clean your stencils off every time you use them, um, you can see where you're painting. And I think that's 
that is a huge tip. And I think what I'm gonna do with this is try to, I'm gonna do this section first. And then I'm gonna let it come over the eyes. I'm gonna put it a little bit darker around the eyes because I have the, I got some really cool eyes I'm gonna put on it and I kinda want it to fade back. So that'll work out pretty good. So I'll do this side. See how far I came down. I came down about just below that. I'll lock it down. And I'll just lightly spray this. Just like that. I'll make it a little darker on the head. like that. I'm going to mix me up a little bit of wrapper orange candy. Something to mix it just to give it some pop. So that's going to be candy 2-0, grabber orange. And that, see the thing with the, with the candy is you can actually I can, I can soften up any of that stencil that I, I just did with the candy because it's going to be transparent and I'm not going to need a lot, about four or five drops of UVLS and I'll do about the same with the orange. Orange is a pretty cool color. I like to use it. I put a little bit of reducer in that. That UBLS is thick. If I just I'm shooting it out of that .18 gun, and it just I got to be careful with it because it will clog it up. And really, you want this to sit for a few, but. For video purposes, I probably won't do it. Turn that up where you can see it. It's a really neat foam bait. I tell you, I, I was kind of excited when I saw it. I know I can catch fish with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this out for one thing. out until I'm really organized tonight. I wanted to paint. I just, like I said, I'm just, I'm having a terrible time the last couple of days. I mean, the one I did yesterday, I thought turned out really good, but they don't always turn out that good when I got painter's block when I'm in here just goofing off. But sometimes that's when I do some of my best baits. All right, so I got the gun loaded up with some candy, grab her orange, and I'm gonna cut this pressure down. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over the top, over the black. And I'm gonna go over, I'm actually gonna go over everything that I stenciled. I think I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna leave the belly white. I'm just gonna kinda Fill that candy up. Have to let it dry good. Anytime, just some advice on candy. When you're putting candy on, don't put your second layer on until it is completely dry. It's completely dry. I may just need one coat tonight. It's, I got a pretty good one on here. to 
doing an armor crawl, but I just, I'm having, I just want to do it different. And I just haven't got there yet with my, with my idea on how I want to do it. Um, and you can see when you put the candy on it, kind of, it'll kind of tone your stencil down going over it. It won't be so stand out. It'll blend in a little bit better because it's going to go through the candy. And that's the good thing about the candy is you can fix a lot of your, a lot of your issues too with the candy going over it. So we're going to block, we're going to dry this off with this gun. I'm going to open it back up. Dry it off with cool air. There's a weight bait. It's not really heavy. I don't know how much it weighs. I have to. I'll have to weigh it. I'm gonna put a little bit more black around these eyes. I mean, this is a real simple pattern, especially for a beginner to do. It's not hard. Um. lip for it is right here which I can put that on let's see that thing's still a little wet I don't want to turn it upside down and do it this lip just goes it just goes right in and I'm sure with the um uh, when you epoxy it it's just going to stick it on in there want to stay on there. I put one on earlier when I had them out and it seemed to be doing a, a little bit better, but I guess I'll have to wait on that. Okay. Let's get this thing the thing, I, I will tell you this, it's really, the foam makes it look like the paint's wet, but I don't think that it really is. It may be a little wet. I did put a lot of candy on there. find out that I had a leak in my compressor so I do know why why it's um coming on it never came on before but it is now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more black in it I didn't want the candy over this, so me and this bottle are going to have a war. That's the only thing I don't like about the golden. I love the paint. I hate the bottle. I hate the caps on them. But on the other hand, I don't, I don't always clean it off, so it's probably my own fault. Because I go to war with them quite a bit. I use this black. I, I do. I love this black. It's my favorite black to use. It is a good paint, really good paint. If you haven't used any of them, you know you need to you need to give them a shot because they are they are nice. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill this eye in. I need to make it a little bit darker. This one's actually got a pretty good eye socket, so I'm trying to make sure I get the whole thing dark. 
I don't want to take all the orange out of it. But I think when you see the eyes I'm going to put in here, they're really cool. Really cool eyes. Okay, let's clean that out. This is going to be a short video tonight. I just wanted to get one of these in. I wanted to see how they painted and how it looked. Trying to get myself back in back in the booth. I gotta be at work at 4 a.m. so I'm not gonna get a whole lot of sleep, but I wanted to get another video in. And Jonathan, I am gonna get your armored crawl done. I just like I said, I'm just having a I'm just going through one of them phases where I'm having a hard time um coming up with ideas. I guess that thing is not gonna want to sit on there. I guess I'm gonna have to glue it on there real quick while I do these eyes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I'll go ahead and get us a little closer in here so you can see it. It's actually a very cool bait. I mean, it's, it's, um, I just figured I'd do a little reptile bait and see how it turned out. Make sure I get this thing on straight. Get some, Get a little bit of glue and I'll put that on first. Just to get it secure until I can get the epoxy on it. It's actually really cool looking. It's actually, it's different. I can tell you that. It's, it is really a different looking bait. I was kind of excited when I saw it. I said, man, that's pretty cool. You get kind of tired of painting the same old thing all the time. Let me get my tweezers. My workbench is a mess. So the eyes I'm gonna use our glass eyes, and I think they're really gonna make this pop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin it around. And I'm gonna put some glue in here. I'll go ahead and get it on there. Let it bite. It's actually gonna look pretty neat. I'll let you see that. It's a decent little pattern. Have some fun with something. I know it'll catch bass. I can take it down to the swamp where I fish and I know it'll catch them. Probably catch a little bit of everything else too. Some mud fish and probably some crappie too. Some crappie down that in that swamp, them rice fields we fish, man, they They'll hit big lures. Okay. Let that dry for a minute. I catch a lot on orange for some reason where I live in Georgia. I just, I guess they... I think it's a brim, but that kind of gives you what it looks like. It's kind of a mean looking little thing. Just a cool looking little reptile bait. Just a quick video tonight, something that you can paint relatively quick. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get some UVLS and get it together. hadn't watched the videos that the UVLS is just a great all-around product it's a you know acrylic on polyurethane it really just locks the color in it's not your final top coat I, I know I've said that before but if you haven't watched one of my videos it's just um oh uh, it's a it's a paint protectant it locks it in you can actually mix it well you're supposed to mix it with all your candies you can mix it with all the wicked line or the Createx line for that matter. Um, let's go back to where we were. Let you 
see it. It is a neat looking bait. That was a simple Simon pattern on it, but it got us a, got us one in. I know it'll catch fish. And it's going in my tackle box, so I'll try to get some pics of it with a with a fish swallow on it. Now I'm just gonna spray a good coat of UBLS on it. And just get it good and wet. And like I said, this foam lure hit on. Um, it's got a sheen to it. It really got a neat. Out, and I'll go over the paints that I used. This is, like I said, this is a really simple pattern. I mean, it ain't a big deal. I mean, it's just all about being creative and having some fun in your booth. And there's gonna be times when you are. You're gonna, I mean, I, I come over here and sit sometimes and I, I don't paint anything and I was almost to that stage, but I really wanted to paint something tonight, just have some fun. Um, but it's um just fun to get in here and just sometimes just wing it, have a good time. Like I said, some of those will be the best lures you ever paint. Um, okay, so what I did was I started out with the Autoborn Sealer White and I used some titanium white as the base. I came over top of that with the Sparkalescent which is a mango too. Really can't get these paints anymore. They've they've moved they've moved them to the Wicked line, so I don't know what they call it now. I, I'll have to check, but I've had those paints for a while. And like I said, I kind of didn't like the effect I got on it, so I used an F and W ink and went over top of that. Came back over that with my um. Let me see what I did with it. Well, everybody calls this stuff something different. I mean, I call it Dars cloth. I, that's the way it was. That's the way it says on my roll that I got. I went over that with some golden black. Um, then I followed that up. At the end, I put some um, Candy 2.0 Grabber Orange over the top and over the sides to kind of just soften up the detail on the bait. Um, and it's a foam bait. Like I said, it's just a little different texture. Um, I think it's going to be fine, especially once I get the lure code on it. Um, I should have some of that coming in in the next day or so. And what we'll do is I'll just do a video and I'll do a couple of these baits that I've painted this week and we'll get some lure code on them and let y'all check it out. I think y'all will be tickled to death with it. It's a very good product. Um, Jimmy's a good guy, lurebill.com. He's got all your blanks, stencils, paints now. I mean, you name it, Jimmy's got it, and um, he's got great service. So go check Jimmy out at lurebill.com. If you have any questions, throw it down in the box. Hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you'll know when I'm doing upcoming videos. And if there's something you'd like me to paint, shoot it in the box. Because gosh, like you know, I'm I'm no different than anybody else. I you know sometimes I get in here and uh, and. You know, I have trouble. You know, you just get that painter's block, and, you, and sometimes you just got to get over that. But uh, put something down in the box you'd like me to do. If, if my skill set will allow it, I'll I'll definitely do it, and just have some fun. We can all learn together and have a a, a great time in this hobby of um, lure painting. Um, other than that, I'll catch you next time. Thanks. <laughs>